Hello and welcome to part 3 of this tutorial playlist. In the last video I showed you how to build C++ libraries for Godot. So now I will show you how you can implement those libraries into Visual Studio 19 to generate DLL files which contain the actual gameplay code. So let's get started. At first we need to create new folders. And we start with the Godot bindings folder. This one is for storing your Godot bindings. So you got them on a central station, you could say, and to theoretically call them up from different programming environments. Then you need a Godot projects folder where all of your Godot projects will be saved, obviously. And in the Godot projects folder, you create another folder for your C++ DLL exports. More on that later. So for now you need to fill your Godot bindings. For this you open the folder we created last episode, our Godot C++ master folder, and copy following files to the Godot bindings folder. You need the include, Godot headers, and the bin folder, which contains the build libraries. So you copy those three over here and rename the bin folder to lib because of the libraries. Okay. So now you can already start Visual Studio 2019, but it would also work with other versions or even other programming environments. But in this case, I just wanted to show you how it's done with a quite popular IDE. So we begin with an empty project, a normal C++ project, and name it Godot DLL Tutorial. If Visual Studio is done creating the project, on the right you can right-click your solutions and go to Properties. And now we need to make some adjustments. At first it's important to choose all configurations and all platforms because we make some general adjustments at first. Our output directory should be the just created Godot export folder, of course. This is for exporting all built gameplay C++ DLLs and then you can drag and drop the DLLs to our Godot projects. Besides that, it's also important for the output folder to end with a backslash, because otherwise the compiler would complain with a warning later, but that's not as tragic. For our configuration type, we don't want a .x file, but a dynamic library. Then select here and apply. Next, you go to VC++ directories and adjust the include directories and library directories. For the include directories, you go to Godot bindings, of course, our include folder. Then we can copy this part, create a new folder, and then select the core folder inside of the includes and the same for the gen folder. This way we make sure that the includes get found. And in addition, we then create another folder, again in bindings, our Godot headers folder. So then again, OK and apply. Same for your library directory. Of course, with your lib folder, which we also just copied in here, and OK. And now we do the same for our linker, adding the library directory and the lib folder. Now for input, it is important to list all our libraries, which you want to use right here. But if you saw the last video, you may remember that we only built lib files for Windows 64-bit. 
in the debug and release version. And so you have to make sure that the configuration over here matches with the versions. Like here for debug on 64 bit and apply. Now we have to add the matching library. For debug 64 bit, our debug library. Just copy and paste the wall name and confirm. And now you do the same for the release version with the release library. And of course, apply. So that should be it for the adjustments in Visual Studio. Now you test it by rebuilding the project. And if you get rebuilt all succeeded, all folders are found and we don't have major bugs. And for the next time, I will show you how you can export an example project as DLL and then how to implement it using the GD native feature. So that's it for this video. I hope I could help you a little and that you like this video. Leave your questions, suggestions and comments below. And I hope I see you in the next video. Bye.